We're going to uh, move on. We've got another question. Uh, it's from uh, Tim Elliott. The Greens and yourself have been repeatedly calling for one world government with one vote, one value. Can you please explain to Australians why we should forfeit our sovereignty to the Chinese and Indians who would have the numbers to impose their systems and values on us, all but abolishing social welfare, human rights, basic freedoms and turning Australia into a quasi-police state? Well, thanks, Tim. I've never called for world government. You've been reading the Murdoch Press again. No, I actually, uh, <laughs> I suspect he's probably read your Dear Earthian speech, yes. the thrust yes. of which is that the human race is headed for extinction and the only thing which would save us is a global parliament and a global democracy. Well, I didn't... Uh, I, I, th I said we have to be aware that um, we're on a planet which is finite resources. We're using 120% of the renewal, renewable living resources at the moment. We're headed for 10 billion people by uh, the second half of this century, according to the United Nations. And everybody else on the planet wants to consume as much as we're doing. And for that, you need two more planets, which we don't have. It's crunch time. Uh, this is uh, a reality. And uh, when it comes to looking at how we uh, work this planet, we're all in it together. And it's much better that you have a house united rather than divided. I'm not the first person who's spoken about this. Socrates said 2,500 years ago, Tony, that I'm not a Grecian, I'm not an Athenian, I'm a citizen of the world. Well, they made him drink poison. Um, you know, this has, been, uh, an, uh, this has been something that the tribalist instinct, which says we're better than somebody else, and, and uh, we just heard it, uh, maybe the Chinese or the Indians, I don't subscribe to that. I'm an equal human being with everybody else on the planet. Abraham Lincoln knew that. Einstein knew that. Uh, Newton in, in the 1760s wrote about it. Uh, 22 US states after the Second World War moved, uh, moved, supported past motions that uh, supported world government. We've drifted a bit from it, um, and I'm talking about a world parliament which is represented. Now, let's, if we're going to have can, a United can I, can, Nations we, function... Our, our question has had his hand up for a little while. He wants to respond, I think, to what you're saying. Sure. Yeah. I mean, isn't this emblematic of your opposition to freedom? I mean, you're not denying that you want to take away our freedom to elect an Australian government. You want to control what opinions newspapers can publish. Aren't the Greens the new face of totalitarianism hiding in a koala suit? Well, you are, now, you are now quoting Miranda Devine from the movie. No, I'm not at all. I've, and, I don't uh, read Miranda well, Devine. Well, yes, you are. That's the word she uses. And, uh, and, and other uh, journalists there. Uh, what, a, what an out... Let me be serious about this, ladies and gentlemen. What an outrageous constriction of our ability to discuss the great issues of our age in this nation that I should say, well, let's look at global democracy and be called a totalitarian... Uh, and I think um, one of the other journalists there said faster. <laughs> I love this planet. I love the people on it. And I want to see it continue into the future. I want people like us to be having discussions like this 50, 500, 50,000 years from now. And if we're going to do that, we have to look ahead and say, let's do this. Let's make sure that everything we do is going to be a boon to our grandchildren. If you can't say that, don't do it. But for goodness sake, let's be able to discuss the... Look, um, there were accolades for John Howard when he supported George Bush to invade Iraq to give them democracy. All I'm saying is let's do it peaceably. We don't have to go to war to have a, um, a, a global compact, at least, on reducing armaments and making our future more Just secure. very briefly, how would a global democracy look? look much like the United Nations, but elected. Uh, not frightening, is it? It sounds a bit democratic. <laughs> <laughs> OK.